Hello everyone. Good evening. I hope I am audible. I welcome you all to GRE Preparation Made Easy Verbal Ability Class by Mrs. Annapurna Murugan. Here are a few instructions for the participants. Make sure you have a stable internet connection and noisy environment. We recommend you to use your earphones for best experience. Also, please respect your instructor, your classmates, and yourself. Do not write anything inappropriate on the chat box. Also, to answer polls, you have to go on button and then click on activities and then you'll see the option for polls. We have three packages that is bronze, silver and gold. If you upgrade to silver and gold, you'll get extra benefits like evaluated mock tests, expert university recommendations and so on. We have free profile evaluation with our experts, comprehensive evaluation, university shortlisting, course recommendations, recommendation reports and doubt clearance. You also have free live IELTS classes that is from Monday to Friday, 7.30 to 8.30 p.m. It is a Four week course and Duolingo classes Monday to Friday, 6 to 7 30 pm. It is a two week course. Here are a few achievements. <laughs> this is the Ubergrad website. You can select the country course and specialization when you go on explore. We have countries, universities, courses, and exams. You can get all the information through explore. When you click on solutions, we have uh, for you by uh, for prior. Uh, Sorry, profile evaluation, talk to the counselor, country recommendations, test preparation stores, additional services, also weekly blogs are uploaded. You may go through them. To contact us, you can call us, WhatsApp us, and mail us. Also, when you go on my test preparation and click on GRE view course, you get you get the daily handouts and recordings. I'll also be sharing the link of previous classes. You may go through them if you've missed any session. Also, for any other doubts, you may ask at the end of the session. I hope you have a great session. Thank you. Hi, guys. Good evening. I hope everyone is doing good. OK, so today we are going to start off with AWA writing. OK, so what is this writing? Writing, I guess you people would have understood in yesterday's class. It is very, very important writing. And writing actually uh, is scored on uh, six bands. OK, so but what are the things that you people need to write on writing? So writing is not a cup of tea for everyone, isn't it? Can you tell me how many of you like writing? How many of you like writing? Tell me, guys. Uh, should I think everyone li like writing or uh, everyone don't like writing? So, OK. No worries. Let me, let me make you people to, uh, what is that? Like writing. And those who like, so stuff. Uh, I would uh, suggest you people will start loving to write writing. Very good, Aditi. So, right, guys. So here, let us understand. Uh, so what exactly happens on writing? What are the requirements and how we can write this? And how important it is, why this writing is important? I'm going to present the screen. Just give me a second. Guys, is the screen visible? OK. So now I'm presenting your writing here. OK, I'll be discussing about writing, what exactly happens on this uh, uh, writing part, and how you people need to uh, work on your. OK, so now you people would have come across this issue-based essay writing. You people know that. So you actually, you guys are lucky. Why? You don't have two writings. Before, like uh, until this new change, uh, we had two writings, both like 30 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour. And the writing, what they have taken out, that was a complicated thing that we had. OK, so what we had, so that writing was complicated. 
so i am saying it was complicated in the sense what there you need to understand what is argument then you need to find critics on the same and for your critics you people need to present what is that uh, proofs explanation and all of these things okay but now you people don't have that headache we have only what so one writing and that is issue based essay writing okay what is that we have issue based essay uh, writing we have and this writing is for six band it is tested on for six band let me tell you guys why this writing is important this actually shows your skills of understanding presenting and expressing the idea to other person in an appropriate and why this is required you may be wondering why is this required for us definitely if you are giving gre it is understood that you are going for post graduation or masters isn't it if you are going for masters there mainly you people need to write you need to write on anything and i mean your subject topics you need to present articles when you are presenting articles those articles should be clear you the, the one who is reading it should understand right from about what your people are writing why you are writing how you are presenting your ideas all of these things plays crucial role there okay so that's the reason they want to pick only the people who have good writing skills it is not just the verbal and quantitative uh, scoring they will be looking at even you, well you people do your uh, this one applications you would have seen the requirement under the university requirement they need awa these many bands this is the thing so that means if you get lesser than that you will not be getting admissions so make sure that you people will write properly the thing okay so now basically what is that be, uh, thing that we have or what type of questions that we have most of you would uh, attended your uh, this one ielts class also and more or less our second task is almost the same that means they will be talking about an issue about an uh, um, idea about uh, some uh, general source uh, what is that uh, the social aspect that is happening presently in the world so i'll be sh showing you the this one question okay let me show you uh, this one just give me a second then i'll talk about the methods and in fact we'll be doing the things we have some of the questions like this so museum should have liberty to exhibit whatever they display they want without the inference of government censorship so what do you think whether you think this is correct or no whether uh, like you agree or disagree that will be the prompts here when people work in teams they are more productive than when they work individually now again you people need to give your this one what is that uh, idea so uh, whether you agree with this whether you disagree with this or you partially agree with this that idea you need to present if everyone would closely examine their past they would realize that only a few individuals see how general the idea is nowhere it is what is that complicated idea it is all very simple but you people need to work on these particular things okay success is easily obtained but difficult to maintain whether you agree or disagree with this particular thing okay society is governed by two types of law just and unjust people must obey just laws but are at liberty to defy those laws which they determine as frivolous or unjust okay so these are some of the questions that we have this is the face of the awa analytical writing okay now let me tell you guys like what you need to do so when you people get this awa just give me one second i'm going to use the whiteboard here 
as I said, the importance is very high. And you're not writing for your native country test, even in your native country. So post, what is that, eighth or ninth standard, whatever the essays that you people write, OK, it could be uh, secondary exams, it could be your graduation, it could be competitive exams, even it could be your IS means. OK, so what happens, you will see that the content right from the content to how you are presenting the idea and how elaborate the idea is everything will be considered here no matter it is india so they don't see the other language and i mean the grammar everything only if we fill in the words we are going to get the score all this idea is completely a scrape idea that you have that means i'm saying see so when we compare to is means also they're only writing that writing should be very excellent so when indian based exams needs that excellence so you can imagine even the native countries of of English speaking also requires that efficiency there. But how can we bring in that efficiency? And here, guys, I would always suggest to write between 300 to 350 words. Don't write less. Within 30 minutes, so I would really appreciate you people to write uh, 30 to 30, uh, three, uh, sorry, 300 to 350 words. In fact, if you go about 400 also, it is very nice. Why? Because we need to give more information. So, here, okay, so therefore, try and give more information uh, here. But how do you write them? That is more important. As I said, so you're like we, they will be analyzing just like any other language exam. You're also, they will be analyzing on four important elements. Remember, you may be wondering how you are going to get the score. Your score will be based on four important elements. First one is task achievement. Yeah, you can't write anything and everything. OK, whatever your writings would be, that should be based on question. That should be related to question. That should be on that question only. You can't write anything inappropriate here. OK, so but and also you will not. Uh, what is that partially address the program? You need to address the question completely that means whatever the hidden ideas we have whatever uh, like what is that uh, questions we have everything you people need to explain or you need to present there okay so that is the task achievement that shows that you have why this task achievement required so this doing the task achievement actually shows that you people have understood the question well and you people are presenting that idea okay and now here you can't say that ma'am we are short of ideas we don't know how to write and everything remember you people are graduate students isn't it that kind of general knowledge and everything uh, you need to uh, have that you need to showcase that you are well versed with what is going on in the world you cannot show that oh we don't know anything what is happening in the world so that's the proof that your task achievement should be correct now here you will be actually writing many ideas i will show now how to write also many ideas you will write you cannot mix the ideas and write okay for example, you people see my classes also. When I present the classes, I try to what is that? So go one by one, present one by one. I won't mix the ideas in the class. Why? Mixing of the ideas will make you guys confused, isn't it? I'll start writing, then I'll speak about the uh, elements that they check, then I'll talk about the question later. No, what am I doing in the class? So what, first, I'll talk about the test. So then I'll talk about what exactly it is, time limit, the basic features. Then 
what we need to do, how it is tested, then we'll take the question, then we'll start doing it. So you're also, when you people write something, you need to present it in an organized way, isn't it? So organized way, because you'll have many ideas that you need to present. But how these ideas you can present? These ideas, you need to group them, group them. So all the whatever the ideas, like idea one, idea two, idea three, will have multiple ideas, right? So for all these ideas, what all the sub ideas related to this present, collect them like this, you group. And you discuss completely about idea one only in this body paragraph. Idea two only in this pa paragraph. Idea three only here. So don't try to mix up. So whatever the idea that you want to talk about, I too, so you can't discuss here. So that will become confusion again. You may end up doing repetition also. So therefore, don't do that particular thing. Hence, what is required here. So basically, they check you on coherence and cohesion. You would have heard also. If already few of you would have started writing, you would have heard of this coherence and cohesion here. OK, what is this coherence and cohesion? That's what arrangement of ideas. So in, uh, in a particular paragraph, that means when we write body paragraphs now. So here, see, leaving body paragraph, uh, leaving your introduction, and lastly, inference, we need to write at least three to four or maximum five body paragraphs okay so that means each of this paragraph should be addressing only one idea don't try to mix the ideas in each paragraph you'll be only talking about one particular paragraph one idea and that is what coherence and cohesion when you're talking about that one particular paragraph one idea Use all the words related to that idea. Use all the examples, everything related to that particular thing. Hence, you can attire this coherence and cohesion. In fact, I'll be showing this also. So that means in each of your body paragraph, you can use four, four sentences or more than four sentences you can use because we are covering 300 to 350. But what four sentences, what four features or elements that we need to have is idea. What is that idea you are going to discuss so that you ex present that? Then you try to explain that idea. Give some life examples to that idea. So that means you need to present some of the examples, daily life example, or the things that you encountered with regards to that idea, that topic. Idea is nothing but that topic. So you can explain that and ultimately try to conclude this idea. So that means totally what we have, four things that you people need to present in one particular paragraph. OK, remember how you can make your writing efficient, coherent, and cohesive so you can present four elements in your writing. In fact, it is not you can. You should present four elements. And what are those four elements? What is that topic? Explain that topic. Give some examples to understand better and try to conclude that uh idea or topic there and then itself like that i would appreciate if you people can write three to five body paragraph excluding your introduction and inference here okay now when you people are writing you make sure that you have grammatical correctness what is this grammatical correctness you people need to maintain, okay, so all the sentences intact. That means, what is the main idea of using the sentence? Expressing an idea. You want to express some information, and that information so should reach the person rightly. That means we should not have any breakage. So, and you need 
to present the sentence using complex and compound sentences. That means not just one simple sentence you will be using. You will be discussing a sentence, its sub ideas, everything in one idea, one sentence there. That means, and also we have certain things that we are going to check. Whenever you people write and send it to us, especially for your GRE writing, we test on certain things, OK? Whether the subject verb agreement, that means each sentence will be checking, each word will be checking. In the sense, we in the sense, even the GRE people, they will be checking each word, each sentence, how it is framed. Okay. Whether the subject verb agreement is right, whether parallel structure is maintained, modifiers are properly used, uh, then tenses are used properly so uh, this one punctuation marks uh, no redundancies right collocations right phrasal verbs all these things will be checking in your grammatical part that means you need to be a good writer in the sense you need to be a good expressor without having any kind of uh, breakage okay that means you need to work on advanced grammar skills and in fact your writing should be evaluated by an expert who can tell you like yes where you are going wrong and how it has to be rectified ultimately lexical resources these are the jewels. That means if you are working on only task achievement, coherence, grammatical, that means your writing will be just a basic writing. If you want to make it exclusive, what is that you people need to know? See, even if you have exclusive ideas, everything, but still, if you're not working on your words, so then what is the use of having the, uh, those ideas and all? Because expression is important, right? The way you people express those ideas. So hence, words play a crucial role. However, you will be practicing on words. Kindly use those words practically in your class, uh, in your writings, OK? Not only words, guys. I want you people to use, uh, so express you idioms. Uh, so some of the jargons you try to use, some of the foreign words you try to use, uh, and one word substitutions you people use so that uh, so your writing will become bombastic and grandiose. So that like what happens, the expression also will become very beautiful that you people can gain very good scores on the same year okay so now we discussed what are the four elements that we need to work on because on all these four elements they will be individually testing on six band six band six band and six ultimately what they do they take the average of it okay so therefore, they play equal important role here. Nothing is uh, highly important and nothing is least important. Everything is equally important. OK, so therefore, concentrate. And this is a very good way of getting the score also. So now, let us take a question here. And let us try to, what is that, present our, uh, this one, what is that, writing. So let me take here. Hmm. Yeah. So now, here we have some of the questions. In fact, so I'll try to, what is that, uh, take, let me take, I'll give you the ideas on all of this. Let me see if I can copy or not. Just one second, I'll put it on the this one. Just one second. It is getting pasted. OK, good. I'll expand this. I'll just give you people. OK, let me expand this. It's too small, right?
Okay. Oh, I guess I'll be dictating this. I can write also here. Yeah. No worries here. Yeah. I'll write the question because we have here. Yeah. The first question is museums should have should have liberty to exhibit to exhibit whatever whatever displays displays they want they want without without the interference interference of government censorship okay so this is the question now many of you would be you no know, thinking ma'am museums we have not seen only we don't know what is this see no worries but we know what is museum right we have different different museums what are those art museum we have so uh, this one what is that uh, based on individual persons we have uh, uh, museums based on state okay uh, the state heritage museums we have we have different museums education museums we have science museums we have history based museums we have okay so like this we have museums different but what is the question your museums should have liberty to exhibit whatever displays they want without the interference of government censorship here like before i would describe this thing i would like to say here that basically here also we need to have introduction three to five body paragraphs then final inference okay and i would like to tell you that introduction is the face of your essay so give the best introduction it doesn't mean that you write almost 100 words or 200 words in your introduction only by using all fancy words fancy sentences in fact half of your idea what you people want to present you will start right uh, you will just write off in your introduction please don't go for that method introduction the the uh, yeah i can say if the length of the introduction is less and it conveys the two important points then you people are experts in writing that means what minimum words maximum uh, exhibition of the idea shows that you people are perfect in writing okay so hence we can say that so whenever you people write introduction so keep it very uh, this one small it it can be small but it should be short and crisp crisp in the sense what it has two important things to be exhibiting so what are those two important things that you people need to present would be what exactly is the given question and what is your claim okay only two things don't try to explain anything because of uh, the reader will not be interested to read everything what you are going to write in your uh, this one what is that explanation so only two sentences we need to have here which is that so paraphrase the question statement what is the question idea in the sense you need to paraphrase question statement and what exactly you people need to this one so here we can say museum should have liberty to exhibit whatever displays they want without the inference of government censorship so now we can say here there is an there exist there exists an argument an argument that that museums Museum, museums that museums should not be should not be influenced influenced by 
government government bodies bodies on resting should not be influenced by government bodies bodies ideas bodies rules and regulations bodies rules and regulations regulations on the decision on the decision of what to be displayed displayed in museums okay the same idea we need to be we are writing it but using our own words there exists an argument that museums should not be influenced by government bodies rules and regulations on the decision of what to be displayed in their premises in their building we can write in their vicinity in their premises okay so this is the thing that we can write now what is your opinion or my opinion with regard to this thing i partially agree with this argument i so i'll write here i partially or i'll write my observations my observations experiences experiences and feedback feedback from experts experts makes me to makes me to partially agree with this partially agree with this claim claim okay so that's what i am saying like i'm just giving this one idea i partially agree with this thing why i partially agree with this my observations experiences and feedback from experts so makes me to partially agree with this claim that's what i don't take the headache of writing the complete story in our introduction why because we have place to write okay let us write the information where we want let us not just randomly write anywhere and everywhere this particular thing now this is our purely introduction you can see hardly 50 words we have in this introduction but it is very clear for you people when you read such introductions what you will say okay this is a given question and this person is trying to uh, partially agree that means to some extent uh, like that person is saying that yes government we should not have any interference but to some extent in some cases yes government need to interfere okay so this is what we people have now how to write this particular thing or what we need to write here see museum should have liberty to exhibit whatever displays so this is the question idea first of all when we discuss about the liberty uh, everything displaying why don't we talk about museums in first paragraph first paragraph why can't we talk about because here they are talking about museums whether it should have the freedom of uh, a, uh, 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 displaying everything but what everything isn't it before i claim yeah you should have the uh, freedom of expressing the things etc etc so if i want to say that first i need to describe what is this museum right 
first we need to talk about what happens in museum right and also we need to say why government is associated they are saying government is having the restriction that means so we should also show how government and museum is connected here isn't it so in the first paragraph let's talk about the base of the essay that is museum your yeah, first paragraph see because we need to write 300 to 350 words remember so what we'll do we'll start writing about museums okay so what we can say museums are the places basically define them museums are the places what they do they display the ancient things, ancient things, archaeological based things, fossil fuels, uh, sorry, fossil remains, which is considered to be, considered to be nations, nations or states or regions regions assert isn't it mainly museums are meant for this that's considered to be what assert of the nation why it is considered to be the assert you people can say because it describes the culture tradition sacrifices so etc and the richness of that place richness of that place that means here we are showing how important these museums are and then you people can take tell in the same paragraph museums are of different varieties so we have historical museums okay so we have science and technology museum so we have what is that uh this one art and architecture museum we have what is that museum on zoology based things botany based things we have many things we have museums on the collections of allied people like uh, we have what is that uh, example your mysore uh, this one palace museum where they have collected that uh, eras so what is that uh, the rulers usages everything they have displayed there that means museums are of different varieties you people can uh, write here okay why we are writing all these things i'll be telling you people later so these things you people can exhibit and this museums see here we have what is that museums what it is so what happens what are the different types and also you can say the importance of museum importance of museum why what is that importance of museum important because of museum yes so generation to the information so the valuable information is passed from one generation to other generation and not only that so it is a source of income to uh that region country and in fact it increases the per capita also that means the economy is also there so your importance also there origin everything you're giving the the face what exactly the museum is then you come here so you partially agree isn't it i agree that government should have its hand on what to display and what not to display so you can refer back as many museums many museums are the faces of are the faces of culture tradition region that region and also country etc if government's intervention is not there not there then then what happens museum authorities can can uh this one what is that uh can distort the information 
can distort the countries, regions, cultures, information by including including some illegitimate some uh, this one some uh, commodities commodities or things by including or displaying some commodities or things which could not which may not belong to that place which may not belong to that place because of which what happens this false inclusion okay of so false things in that particular museum so may what is that uh, put that region that place under the threat of culture vanishing okay already the culture everything is vanishing at least these are the sources which has to be kept carefully and passed on from one generation to another generation so this way of adding on or exp uh, what is that presenting or displaying anything and everything according to the uh, this one mindset of museums may definitely lead to the cultural distortions there so hence so our history so our generations may not get the right information and also so we may get many uh, this one we may get many situations where so the people or different people may start claiming or arising the issue on the originality of that particular thing okay and not only that this effect this effect the moral of the moral of museum also why the purpose of museum is what so to showcase what that country that place that culture had exclusively okay so uh, because of inclusions of anything and everything may take out the originality of or the purpose of that particular museum for example in the historical museums or in history based museum so if people start or if museum uh, uh, authorities start including some uh, this one what is that science and technology uh, related things or something related to uh, some other thing what happens the mix of ideas tend to happen hence it is always better to maintain so that uh, this film what is that the fragileness as well as that uh, pristinity of the museum and also inclusion of many things uh, into the museum may make the museum authority to become greed and they may start charging or they may start what is that uh, losing the uh, this one the perfection on maintaining the museums why see if in one premises if they have many things they can't handle the things properly that may distract the people also that may distract the people also for example in historical museum we have a fish aquarium collecting all different aquariums uh, different types of fishes and putting there people will lose interest why we may get many people who may be connoisseurs okay they may come they may see there but if they see this inclusion fish aquarium or something else something else we have so the uh, that originality of the museum is lost there okay so hence so to maintain so the originality the main purpose of the uh, museum to be intact uh, yes definitely government has to have some kind of uh, so interference in it.
sector. So you should not allow museums to display anything and everything. So that is not related to the main idea or the theme of the museum. So here we are agreeing that what is that? So agreeing on the fact that government should interfere, should interfere. But now we have one more. I disagree on that thing. That means God, uh, museum should be free. Yes, to some extent, to some extent, museums should be free, should be free to exhibit, exhibit the things, the displays. Why? Yes, it is seen around the country. We have many museums which are under the threat of closure. OK, so many museums we have which are under the threat of closure because people would not like to go and visit. Or so there is a shortage of funds because all these mu museums are not maintained by that uh, this one regions government or this one hence in such cases it should be seen or museum authorities should be free to take certain decisions so which can help them to uh, create that spark in the museum so that they can attract people or visitors and not only that so they can have a revenue uh, system revenue flow there okay by how, how in what conditions so on what the condition that if it is an historical museum is history based museum let them try to collect and display so the ideas artifacts artifacts in the form of picture movie etc in that particular place and in fact they could also display some of the ideas some of the changes that has happened that has happened to that culture and tradition or region in terms of this one how history has changed from then to now could also be displayed that means you why you are giving this ex, uh, this one uh, explanation to show that whatever they are including that should be in the box okay they cannot put anything and everything and also they can make the place interesting by using that's what pictures movies or based on that short movies and all these days you can see in many museums they, they are doing that why to attract the people there okay so these things should happen why because we need to save the uh, uh this one falling faces of the museum that is very good for uh people also and also it is very important many museums are overly uh, expensive so but the content in those museums are not very uh, uh, this one worth so in that cases yes museum authority should be given the freedom of displaying something very interesting exciting to the people so that they can show or prove that yes it's worth going and visiting the museums here Okay, so and also because museums are maintained by private, most of the museums are maintained by private organizations or private bodies, hence the expenses need to be handled by the museum authorities. Hence, they should be given the freedom to display whatever they feel comfortable, but yes, in the limits of the museum only. So these are the things that we are going to talk here. OK. And ultimately, what you can end up. So you can end up that, yes. So the freeness, the freedom 
so uh, or the freedom given to the museums may take the uh, this one uh, the the uh, this one the concept of museum to a great deal because these days it is observed that people would are not very much interested to go and visit museums so because of which most of the people are missing on some of the important ideas connected to themselves hence so the inclusion of museums idea or museums authorities ideas may actually help us to spread our culture and tradition in a great way so hence so museums to some extent so should be given authority to display and modify the things that they really want okay so this is what we are going to present in our writing task uh this one awa it could be anything okay you people try to what is that expand the ideas like this so when you write the ideas like this it is very very important see now if i take the another question when people work in teams they are more productive than when they work individually now for this also i try to give the partial only i'll give the ideas see what is that i discuss both the points working in teams and working individually okay so and why i agree that yes working in teams will be beneficial so because yes when we work in teams so we understand what is the thing and we also learn so we do a lot of brainstorming we learn many different uh, skills there because of which what is that we uh, we can be more productive because while watching while in interaction we try to know where we are wrong why we are wrong and how we can be productive by adapting different skills everything here okay so but how this working in teams can be disadvantages yes these days it is seen that everywhere politics is one of the thing where so working in team so can be uh, to some extent uh, harmful for one's career because so if that person is not very close or is not a very close to the manager so then that person would not get any kind of goodies or uh, so the claims or that opportunities to go further hence uh, so that kind of demoralization demotivation and groupism in the team may lead the person to become less productive or less interested in the work okay so these are some of the things when we have different categoryed people we have people who grow very strong when working with team but we have people who become strong by working individually so example you can take here yes, certain people so are uh, what is that quick learners quick analyzers they are uh, so they can analyze their own mistakes themselves and they can work further okay and also when working individually one will have that complete concentration no kind of distraction will be there so because of which that person can become more productive in their work okay and also some people would not like to have that what is that uh, are not very competitive in nature but uh, without competition they can have more productiveness so like this you people can include different ideas and exhibit your uh, essay there so that means what so always make sure when you have a question kindly do this particular things five w's and 1h method what is this 5w's and 1h method this is what we use for ideating on the question whatever the idea is okay on the basis of that particular thing on this questions you ask yourself what where why when and which then completely how if you ask on any idea these questions you people will be getting many ideas okay those ideas you people group and present it in your way okay 
So this is what basically you people need to write. This is how you need to write. This is the way you can generate any idea. No need of that knowledge about the things. But however, I would strongly recommend that try to work on maximum writing so that you get the expertise on the same. OK, guys. So yes, your book. Now, tell me what kind of questions you people have on the same. It is not calculated, uh, Sakshi. It is separately given. So that is, uh, they will be giving you uh, on the band of six. So and usually universities will require 3.5 band to five minimum scores. Okay, I would recommend you people need to get around 4.5 band at least so to get into universities. Right. Any other queries? Lexicons, yes, it is very important. Already, see, you people have this as a weapon because you people are working on words. So therefore, so you people use maximum words in your writings, maximum relevant words you people try to use. Aditi. OK, so that that will add on because lexicons uh, is one parameter on which it is individually tested, isn't it? So therefore, try to use as many as uh, good words. In a sense, use one word substitutions, but relevant. Not that anything and everything you will be using. So use one word substitutions. Use uh, this one foreign words. Use your uh, this one uh, idioms, uh, phrases. So proverbs. All these things you people try to use because it is a very generalized ideas, isn't it? Right. Any other queries? No? OK, guys. Bye. Take care. And happy Deepavali to you all. And we'll see you on Monday. Bye, guys.